whether you think you can, or you think you can't you rewrite. Anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. Failure is only the opportunity more intelligently to begin again. You can't build a reputation on what you are going to do. If I had asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. The only real mistake is the one from which we learn nothing. Obstacles are those frightful things you see when you take your eyes off your goals. When everything seemed to be going against you, remember that the airplane takes off against the wind, not with it. Thinking is the hardest work there is, which is probably the reason so few engage in it. Any customer can have a car painted any color that he wants so long as it is black. Coming together is the beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is success. If you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. It is well enough that people of the nation do not understand our banking and monetary system, for if they did, I believe there would be a revolution before tomorrow morning. If money is your hope for independence, you will never have it. The only real security that a man can have in this world is a reserve of knowledge, experience and ability. One of the greatest discoveries a person makes, one of their great surprises, is to find they can do what they were afraid they couldn't do. Most people spend more time and energy going around problems than in trying to solve them. Any man who thinks he can be happy and prosperous by letting the government take care of him better take a closer look at the American Indian. The whole secret of a successful life is to find out what is one's destiny to do, and then do it. You say I started out with practically nothing, but that isn't correct. We all start with all there is, it's how we use it that makes things possible. There is no man living who isn't capable of doing more than he thinks he can do. When Henry Ford decided to produce his famous V8 motor, he chose to build an engine with the entire eight cylinders cast in one block, and instructed his engineers to produce a design for the engine. The design was placed on paper, but the engineers agreed, to a man, that it was simply impossible to cast an eight-cylinder engine block in one piece. If there is any one secret of success, it lies in the ability to get the other person's point of view and see things from that person's angle as well as from your own. I see no advantage in these new clocks. They run no faster than the ones made 100 years ago. None of our men are experts. We have most unfortunately found it necessary to get rid of a man as soon as he thinks himself an expert because no one ever considers himself expert if he really knows his job. A man who knows a job sees so much more to be done than he has done, that he is always pressing forward and never gives up an instant of thought to how good and how efficient he is. Thinking always ahead, thinking always of trying to do more, brings a state of mind in which nothing is impossible. The moment one gets into the expert state of mind a great number of things become impossible. I invented nothing new. I simply assembled the discoveries of other men behind whom were centuries of work. Had I worked fifty or ten or even five years before, would have failed. So it is with every new thing. 
Progress happens when all the factors that make for it are ready, and then it is inevitable. To teach that a comparatively few men are responsible for the greatest forward steps of mankind is the worst sort of nonsense. Life is a series of experiences, each of which makes us bigger, even though it is hard to realize this. For the world was built to develop character, and we must learn that the setbacks and griefs which we endure help us in our marching onward. There are three things that grow more precious with age, old wood to burn, old books to read, and old friends to enjoy. A business absolutely devoted to service will have only one worry about profits. They will be embarrassingly large. There is joy in work. There is no happiness except in the realization that we have accomplished something. The way to learn to do things is to do things. The way to learn a trade is to work at it. Success teaches how to succeed. Begin with the determination to succeed, and the work is half done already. I will build a car for the great multitude. It will be large enough for the family, but small enough for the individual to run and care for. It will be constructed of the best materials, by the best men to be hired, after the simplest designs that modern engineering can devise. But it will be so low in price that no man making a good salary will be unable to own one. I cannot discover that anyone knows enough to say definitely what is and what is not possible. We try to pay a man what he is worth and we are not inclined to keep a man who is not worth more than the minimum wage. There is one rule for the industrialist and that is, make the best quality of goods possible at the lowest cost possible, paying the highest wages possible. As long as we look to legislation to cure poverty or to abolish special privilege we are going to see poverty and special privilege grow. Where people work longest and with least leisure, they buy the fewest goods. No towns were so poor as those of England where the people, from children up, worked 15 and 16 hours a day. They were poor because these overworked people soon wore out, they became less and less valuable as workers. Therefore, they earned less and less and could buy less and less. New York is a different country. Maybe it ought to have a separate government. Everybody thinks differently, they just don't know what the hell the rest of the United States is. I am looking for a lot of men who have an infinite capacity to not know what can't be done. It is not the employer who pays the wages. Employers only handle the money. It is the customer who pays the wages. Money doesn't change men, it merely unmasks them. If a man is naturally selfish or arrogant or greedy, the money brings that out, that's all. That the devil finds work for idle hands to do is probably true. But there is a profound difference between leisure and idleness. Do you want to know the cause of war? It is capitalism, greed, the dirty hunger for dollars. Take away the capitalist, and you will sweep war from the earth. Failure is simply the opportunity to begin again, this time more intelligently. Being greedy for money is the surest way not to get it, but when one serves for the sake of service, for the satisfaction of doing that which one believes to be right, then money abundantly takes care of itself. 
To teach that a comparatively few men are responsible for the greatest forward steps of mankind is the worst sort of nonsense. That is the way with wise people, they are so wise and practical that they always know to adopt just why something cannot be done, they always know the limitations. That is why I never employ an expert in full bloom. If ever I wanted to kill opposition by unfair means I would endow the opposition with experts. They would have so much good advice that I could be sure they would do little work. The natural thing to do is to work, to recognize that prosperity and happiness can be obtained only through honest effort. It is probably true that the commonest real cause of anti-Semitism is the action of the international Jew who is often unknown and always secure, but innocent victim of it is the poor Jew. The idea of gas engines was by no means new, but this was the first time that a really serious effort had been made to put them on the market. They were received with interest rather than enthusiasm and I do not recall anyone who thought that the internal combustion engine could ever have more than a limited use. All the wise people demonstrated conclusively that the engine could not compete with steam. They never thought that it might carve out a career for itself. That is the way with wise people they are so wise and practical that they always know to adopt just why something cannot be done, they always know the limitations. That is why I never employ an expert in full bloom. If ever I wanted to kill opposition by unfair means I would endow the opposition with experts. They would have so much good advice that I could be sure they would do little work. It ought to be the employer's ambition as leader to pay than any similar line of business, and it ought to be the workman's ambition to make it possible. Faith without action is delusion. Faith does not wait for miracles but produces them. If you think you can or if you think you can't, you are right. History is more or less bunk. It's tradition. We don't want tradition. We want to live in the present and the only history that is worth a tinker's dam is the history we made today. Life, as I see it, is not a location, but a journey. Even the man who most feels himself settled is not settled, he is probably sagging back. Everything is in flux and was meant to be. Life flows. We may live at the same number of the street, but it is never the same man who lives there. The ability to know how to get the information is more important than using the mind as a garage of facts.